But aren't you glad that Jesus does see men? Jesus passed forth from thence and saw a man named Matthew. Praise God. He was sitting at the receipt of custom. <clears throat> Amen. Now, if you've got a Bible, this Bible here, I, I, I bought my preaching Bible in the, in the truck, and, and I use this one here on Sundays a lot. But it's got in the margin, do you know what the receipt of customs was? Does, does yours have it in the margin? What's it say? This one has that the receipt of customs was the tax office. It was the IRS of, of Judea. Infernal Re- Internal Revenue Service. Now, I know you thought that was behind you, but no, this man, Matthew. Now, I, know, I want you to notice how many's got your Bible at verse 9. Play, take your finger. Are you there? I want you to preach with me. I can't see, Brother Joshua. Are they, are they responding? Take your finger in verse 9. Put it on Matthew. Is the word Matthew there? See it? Now, move your finger to the top, very extreme top of the page. All the way up to the top, way up. You see that word again, don't you? How many, how many sees that again? At the very extreme top of the page. <laughs> What's that mean? He wrote the book. You say, I don't get it. I know it. That's my job. I got to get you to get it. This tax collector at the seat of customs, the IRS, he wrote this book. And I hear you say, no way. They don't have a soul, do they? Oh, yes, they do. (laughs) Yes, they do. You know, they felt about, they felt worse about tax collectors in that day than they do today. You say, no way, that you can't. Yes, yeah, they did. Because, you know, really what they did was, was they, they, uh, according to what I read, you know, I read commentaries which are not really inspired, you know. But according to what I've read, those tax collectors would, Sometimes they would get everything they could out of those people. And then they'd just kind of sort through and give the government what they required. And guess what they did with the surplus? They kept it for themselves. Now, how would you feel about a tax collector knowing they're putting pressure on you? Huh? Now, that's why Matthew was. Amen. And Jesus come by. You say, well, why in the world would Jesus have a dealing with a man like that. Don't he know what kind of man he's talking to? Oh, my. Did he know when he talked to you? Oh, you don't want to go down that road. I can see that right now. Praise God. I, Jesus saw a man. I, I, I tell you what, he saw a man that really needed help bad. And... Uh, And so, look what he said. Look what the Bible said. Jesus and the tax man. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said unto him, Follow me. Oh, I I, I love this. I love this. Because the Lord's been dealing with us, for me, about here, in our church here. And, man, this is right on target, Brother brother Jeff. I'll tell you what. I I I need to talk to you fellas about, you know, we need, need, Brother Darrell, I need to talk to y'all about something. I, you know, I know well, I meant to do it privately, but you know, I mean, we're all friends here. We need we need to get back up to the prison. Did we ever? We need to find out if they'll let us come back up there. Could y'all do that? Huh? Yeah. I don't know why I thought of y'all when I thought of prison ministry. I it just I don't know why why I did that. I maybe that's what we need to talk privately about. I don't know, but but brother brother Tommy. I, and I know, now, Brother Tommy, the Lord saves you. I don't know if they let you visit or not. Would they let you back up there? I don't know. They check your background. I, well, I, well, if you can, check it out. I, hey, man, we need to get we need to get back up there. You say, well, well why do we need to want to go to the prisoners' men up there? 
And Jesus sees men. But you don't know what kind of men those are. He does. Oh, I feel the Lord in here. <laughs> I want to preach to you a little bit. Amen. Before he said, follow me, he saw him. He saw everything about him. Amen. And you know, it is detestable what, what, what men will do. Amen. When, when, when the devil is running their life. Amen. But you know, there is a verse that says, I was in prison and you visited me not. How many know? You mean they might be a good person up there in that prison? Uh, Amen. They could very well be somebody that is washed in the blood and born again. uh, Amen. And saved. Uh, Amen. Come on now. Uh, Amen. You say, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Amen. You know, we had had a a big number Easter Sunday. I I don't remember how many it was, but it was the biggest we'd had in a long time that that I can remember, 180-some, wasn't it? 85, uh, amen. But you know what I felt when I saw uh, that whole crowd in here? Amen. I thought, oh, great. Uh, Amen. That gives us some more help. Amen. If we can get them saved, uh, amen, and then we can just keep, we can move up to the prison. uh, Amen. We can go somewhere else. uh, Amen. We can sow the seed. uh, There'll be another helper, another worker. Amen. You say, I don't see it. Brother Christ uh, had a vision, and he had a broad vision. And he had a, and he had a compassionate vision. And he saw men for who they were. Amen. But he didn't just see them for who they were. He saw them for who he could make them. Hallelujah. Y'all feel this? You remember when Andrew introduced him to his brother Peter and he called his name and he said, Thou art Simon, but thou shalt be. Is that the way it was? Huh? You are, you are this, but you're gonna be this. That's what Jesus did. I wish somebody would say amen. I wonder how many of us have confidence in the gospel. I'm not jumping on you. I know you do. I, I know my church. I, I know when a sinner comes. Uh, if they come down this aisle, I know how excited you get. Uh, amen. Because you know the potential. Uh, amen. Put your finger on that Matthew, the tax collector, and let it come up to the top of the page. Uh, and you'll find Matthew, uh, the Bible writer. Hallelujah. My message today is Jesus and the tax man. Praise God. And you know, what did Jesus say to the tax man? I guess you'd call him a publican, wouldn't you? What did he say to the tax man? Follow me. I'm going to get into this a little more. I got about 10 minutes, 12 minutes here of, of good time, and then we'll get on over into chicken time. But I, I want to I want you to look at this. He said, follow me. Aren't you glad that God is still calling them with an invitation? And you know, really, our life listen, our lives as Christians are nothing. We're not, we're not a Christian if we're not following him. Now, we can go to church, and you know, a lot of people think the Lord looks at them and says, go to church. But that's not exactly what he said, was it? What did he say? Follow me. Of course, if you follow him, where will you go? You'll go to church. Huh? Amen. You're not, you might be religious, but the Bible says if you say he dwells in you, then you ought to do as he does. Come on now. Is that right or not? Amen. He's our Savior, but brother, he, he is our example also, isn't he? He, he gave us an example of how to do every situation that comes up. We, we now have a, what the law, for, law, uh, 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 calls a precedent. And a lot of times they won't even try a case uh, uh, on the merits of the case. They'll go dig up the law book and they'll go back and see, has this ever been tried a similarity before? And they say, oh, yeah, we'll, the judge makes a judgment because 25 years ago on such and such date, this same case come up. It's kind of like Roe versus Wade. Uh, amen. They don't try every one of them cases again. They go back to Roe versus Wade and the Supreme Court judge uh, that a woman could kill her child. So women have been killing them ever since. But in the positive sense, uh, amen, when we want to know how to live our life, uh, we have a precedent. Uh, We go back and find the Son of God, uh, and we walk where He walked, uh, and we follow in His footsteps. uh, And that's what He told this old old wicked tax collector. I want you to put your feet uh, where I'm putting my feet. Hallelujah. 
And that's what makes a holy life. How many knows we influence the world? God don't just come down and, and just blow up in the ball of glory and influence the cities of America. He gets down in the heart of men and women. And he says, go ye into all the world. God is changing the world. He will change the world. If, if, amen. And the way he does it, he changes us. He changes our attitudes. And that's how you change civilization. How many say amen? Amen. He changed. He was getting ready to change. And he, he chose this man, Matthew, who was a tax collector, who was at the seat of customs. And he said, follow me. And I want you to look what Matthew did. You already know, don't you? What did he do? Well, let's look at it in the modern modern times. The Lord, if you know, if he come by and saw Matthew sitting at the seat of customs, especially if it was on April the 15th, uh, excuse me, Matthew, uh, just a minute, that's okay, I'm, I'm busy right here. I got, I got an audit I'm working on right here, and I think he's going to make some big bucks right here. Just hold, hold on. Uh, uh, Matthew, uh, hold it, sir, hold it. Sir, uh, get in the back line, take a number, please. And get in the back of the line. There's a lot of men here in that front of you. I got this billionaire here. It's got an overseas bank account. I think I'm tracking him down. And you just, but you will, sir. Yeah. What was your name again? Uh, let me. I'll take take a number. Your name is Jesus. G- Jesus. Okay. Jesus. If you will get to the back of the line. That's the modern version. How about you? No, he comes right in. He sees this man. He sees all the deceit in him, but he saw something else. He saw what he's going to make him. If he could get him to follow him, he saw I'll have me a good man right here. Huh? Boy, we're, we're eat up in Buchanan County with druggies, hillbilly heroin, oxycotton, meth labs, huh? Porn. Oh, yeah, eat up with it. Eat up with it. Tattoos. That's right. We almost have a welfare state right here in our county. That's right. People are dependent on drugs and just, just their lives are mess. But you know, Jesus sees them. Did you hear me? I said Jesus sees them, and he sees down inside of them. He, the, he sees another preacher of the gospel. You believe that? He looks down in there. If he can get them to follow him, if he can get them to call to answer the call, uh, amen. Oh, yeah, amen. There's going to be people raise a little dust over this. Uh, you'll see it in the next verse. Uh, they're called those Pharisees. Uh, they're going to say, don't he know what he's doing? Uh, amen. Come on now. Uh, amen. But I'll tell you what, Mr. Pharisee, uh, Jesus knows what he's doing. Oh, I wish I was a preacher this morning. I like to get, I like to just set us on fire. Hey man, I'll tell you what, I'm almost wore out. I'm just be honest with you. Hey man, I'm just wore down to a nub. Uh, hey man, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm not driving across Arkansas. Hey man, for that a uh, few hundred dollars. Uh, hey man, cause you'll spend that coming home before you get back home. Uh, I'm going, I'm going across uh, because the Lord's got his eyes on some man or woman uh, and he wants them to hear the call uh, and he want, he's got a plan for them. Uh, he's going to move their name. Uh, hey man, from that tax, uh, hey man, table uh, to the the top of the table uh, and make something of them. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? I'll tell you what, our church is on the birds have been a force in this county. Huh? Raise the standard, raise the flag, raise the steeple, open the doors, let the singing begin. Amen. Go to the prison, visit the nursing home. Amen. Preach on the street corner. Tell this world, Jesus wants you to follow them. Hallelujah. Come on now, church. Take this out there. Take it to your job. Take it to your house. Take it to the grocery. Take it to the wherever you go. And you know what Matthew did? And here's what, Brother Mac, this is what moved his name from one place to the other. He got up immediately. What does it say right there? What does it say? How does it say that? He arose and followed him. No preliminaries. No, uh, but you don't understand. You don't understand. If I if I get saved, I'll lose my job. Well, hallelujah. Huh? 
you know, I just can't, I just can't work down there at that bunch. Amen. And, and be saved. Uh, amen. I, I just can't, I just can't. Well, why don't you try? Now, now notice, I'm almost done. Five more glorious minutes here. Listen. He got up. Matthew got up and followed him. I want you to notice the ver- next verse. Now, there's a little time lapse here, probably not a whole lot. He said, and it came to pass as Jesus sat at meat in the house. Behold, many publicans. Now, do y'all have a margin? What's that say right there where it says publicans? Is that in y'all's margin? Does anybody have? What did he say? Tax collector. So it looks like old Matthew, the tax collector, when he followed the Lord, he threw a little, a little party, he invited all of his little low life buddies. Huh? You don't get that, do you? Is there anybody here who works for the Internal Revenue? I may have hit on something now. Seems like I'm feeling a little drag back right here. <laughs> Ah, hallelujah. He went down and sat at meat with them. He went to dinner with them. Now, I've heard people say, you know, I heard, I heard, I've heard people say that, you know, they, I mean, I've actually heard people say that they, that they, 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 they dress like a punk rocker and they, and they listen to rock and roll and all that just so they can relate to those teenagers out there on the street. Wrong answer. Huh? You're too old anyway. Huh? That's not, that's not what Jesus did. He was a friend of sinners. It ain't no friend to join in with somebody on their way to hell and just fan the flame. Huh? But, brother, but, but you know, you don't have to get on the job the first day, and here's all these sinners, and, and, and the first day you hit the job, you say you're going to burn, burn. Set out, and boy, the Pharisees didn't like that. Are y'all getting this all right? I tell you, God wants us to be soul winners. Soul winners. Now, when you win a soul, that's when you have converted him from his error to righteousness. If you just get him to go to church, you're not done. You're not finished. The Bible said, he that turneth many to righteousness shall shine as the stars or something like that, didn't it? you got to turn them from their error, their ways, into the right way to live. Somebody say amen. How many thinks Jesus got this done? I'm going to finish reading that verse, and then we'll pick it up another Sunday. But how many has got the message? It don't, it don't take, it don't take a, 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 a two-hour sermon, really, for, for, for you to get it if you, if you really want to get it. How many has got the point this morning? Now listen, he said, he sat in house with, and many publicans and sinners came. And they sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said to his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? Jesus heard it. He not only sees men, he hears men. He heard it, and he said, and this sums it up right here, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. He says, I'm the physician. These men are sick. Amen? What would a physician be like if he went... If he had seen a whole house full of sick people and wouldn't go in there. I ain't going in there with them sick people. I'm a doctor. A doctor can't be seen hobnobbing with a bunch of sinners and sick people. Oh, yeah, that's what doctors do. Come on, church. Y'all quit me. Are they still there, brother? Huh? That's what doctors do. 
He's a physician. He's going to be with the sick. And he's going to be applying his trade, the balm, the medicines, the tenderness, the kindness. Where's the church? Where's the church? Oh, I'm not going to talk to them sinners. I'm not going to be a light to them sinners. I, I'm, I see one coming now. Pull the shade. We forget sometimes, don't we? Somebody come and got us. All right, if you still love the preacher, would you stand?